Get your dirty rotten hands off me, you damn stinking apes! ¿Cuántos tienes? Mucho gracias. Hasta si quieres que siga yo. Algo tú lo vas a tener que siga yo. Algo tú lo vas a tener que siga yo. Algo tú lo vas a tener que siga yo. Algo tú lo vas a tener que siga yo. Algo tú lo vas a tener que siga yo. Algo tú lo vas a tener que siga yo. Algo tú lo vas a tener que siga yo. Algo tú lo vas a tener que siga yo. Algo tú lo vas a tener que siga yo. Algo tú lo vas a tener que siga yo. Algo tú lo vas a tener que siga yo. Algo tú lo vas a tener que siga yo. Algo tú lo vas a tener que siga yo. Algo tú lo vas a tener que siga yo. Algo tú lo vas a tener que siga yo. Algo tú lo vas a tener que siga yo. Algo tú lo vas a tener que siga yo. Algo tú lo vas a tener que siga how did anyone acquire a fucking lift? For me, it was, uh, I'm on a golf course in Arizona. Not golfing, filming. And it's, uh, in the middle of the scene while cameras are rolling on film. I get struck by fucking lightning in my mouth. Now, my name's Tony TV. Jokes, no rehearsal, just jokes. Um, I've been a working character actor for 30 plus years. You go to the movies, watch TV, look at Bill Woods when you drive up, flip through magazines. If you do, then you know who the fuck I was. <laughs> I got my 19-year-old daughter. She said, Dad, you play big, big and bad, big and dumb, or her most personal favorite, big, bad, and dumb. <laughs> Thanks, honey. I really appreciate that. But it's pretty cool still. I get recognized sometimes. I'm walking through the casino last night, and someone yells out, Hey, hey, uh, you're an actor. I go, yeah. He goes, you're gay. I said, not without dinner on the show. <laughs> so, oh, anyways, getting struck by lightning in the fucking mouth that causes a lift, does it hurt? Fucking A, it hurts. Funny thing, though, it's, it's, it's like it hurts, but it's sort of like a good hurt. It's like uh, sex from behind. You get used to it after a while. Which reminds me, if I, uh, if I break up with my imaginary girlfriend, do I have to tell her? <laughs> me too, me too. So, Back to the lightning strike. Oh, I'm on the set. I've been there for two fucking weeks. And it's Arizona. It's like 120 degrees. The director comes up to me and he says, uh, uh, how you doing? I says, I'm doing good, but it's fucking hot. It's like 120 degrees. He goes, yeah, but it's a dry heat. I said to him, I said, hey, when you're 350 pounds, nothing's a fucking dry heat. So if we go on, we're filming. It's a whole day. It's a, I have one day left. It's a scene with me and the star of the movie and I'm, I'm, I'm there and I'm, He's uh, yelling back and forth. It's a funny, funny little cute scene because it's a family movie, a kid's family movie on a golf course. So we're doing the scene, and all of a sudden, you know, it starts to, it gets cloudy all morning, so it's, that's perfect for filming. Then it gets, starts to drizzle a little bit. That's okay because the, the, the drizzle doesn't show up on film. So, so they keep rolling, they keep doing this, and then we get the whole thing. Finally, we're done. It's late in the afternoon. It took the whole fucking day. It was like four or five pages long. And well, everybody thinks we're about to go home, and the director goes, you know what? Let's get one more. Tony, let's get one more. And this time, have fun with it. We already got that. We're going to get one more for safety. <laughs> safety. What the fuck, safety? So I go, fuck it. All right, we're going to do it. So we do it. We're in the middle of it. Now, fun means, you know, you can have lib, You can change the line. So I'm doing this. I'm with them. They're rolling. The two cameras are rolling. And the drizzle gets a little louder and then a little bigger. And then you know, the thunder a little louder. Then in the middle of the scene, I'm leaning in there. To fucking threaten the guy, you know, in a funny way. And all of a sudden, a fucking lightning bolt strikes me square in the fucking mouth, lays me flat out on the fucking green. I'm laying in soggy green. And probably the, what I felt most of it, I was like embarrassed. But I'm laying there, and then I realized, holy shit, it fucking literally ground my teeth a quarter of an inch down. All right? It disintegrated my whole upper left top bridge in my mouth of teeth. Gone, completely gone. And it left me talking with a permanent fucking lift. Alright, so that's, that sucks. And I'm letting you know this, is, this really happened. Is what happened to me is I, I, I literally had like ground up teeth between my gums. It was like sand in my gums. And I go, what the fuck is that to the paramedics? They go, that's your teeth. Man, I literally ground that fucking much. So that's in there. And then I completely lost my sense of taste. Alright, so I couldn't taste for like two weeks, which sucked. But it was actually a good thing because I stopped eating pizza. Because why eat fucking pizza if you can't taste it? So, and I probably also, I they'd probably fuck with the pizza delivery guy. They probably had to lay a couple of them off while I couldn't fucking taste. But anyway, so then the, the, the taste doesn't come back, but an iodine taste comes back. So everything tastes like iodine. And mean, meanwhile, so you notice it's real. Every orifice on my body is burning. Like under my fingernails, um, my eyes, my ears. I'd wake up in the morning. Of course, my mouth. And then um, you literally, you like shit, shit charcoal. And then you'd fuck smoke. It was fucking crazy, man. 
But then all of a sudden, I wake up one day and, uh, and uh, the taste is back, everything's good. Pizza delivery guys, they hire back, everything's good. So now I'm back home and um, I literally, I, I, I got to deal with this list. So the studio says, the studio says, the studio, what list? I said, what fucking list? Are you kidding me? So they go and they send me to a speech therapist. So I get to the speech therapist. He goes, what seems to be the problem? And I go, what are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> what are you, stupid? <laughs> so, I mean, I'm talking like fucking, um, who was that? Uh, uh, I'm a father, whatever the fuck. You know, he's that stutter. I don't know. Whatever the fuck. So the guy goes, so what, what, what my problem was is I was lisping because of the, my, my, the alignment. I understood this scientifically. It was explained to me that the alignment of my jaw literally changed. So that left me with a lisp because it might, you know, to adjust. So I'm lisp, and when you lisp, your tongue, the reason you lift your tongue is against your top teeth. So this speech therapist t taught me to literally push my tongue against the jaw, jawbone, below the bottom teeth and talk slower and more pronounced and you literally lose the lisp. So now I do that for anything on film, if there's any more acting jobs or additions and all, but, but I, I, I finally learned that. But the, but the drawback of that is, and that's why you can even tell why I lift my body 90% of the time, is it's fucking a pain in the ass to do and it's hard. So I just say fucking and lift unless it's for work and for money to get paid. So I go and, and I'm fucking working on this and working on this, but the, the problem is, is, is in the middle of this, the fucking lift comes back. If you get excited or you get mad or if you have a couple drinks, all right, all of a sudden you, so I go out and I can talk like this for a while, but then all of a sudden the lift comes back. So I get home and I'm home and I'm really working on this hard and I'm, I'm finally, I'm working, but it's really difficult. So I get in the mail, I get a coupon for, uh, I'm, I'm a big coupon guy. So I get in the mail a coupon, seven soups for seven, seven for seven, with seven soups for seven dollars. All right, so I go, shit, this is great, man. And it was Swanson soup. So my favorite Swanson soup, okay, no, is Southwestern style. So I get this coupon, I get it, I get up early, I go to the fucking supermarket, I get the soup. Now normally this soup is like two fifty a fucking can, so seven for seven was a good deal. So I get it, I get to the checkout line, and she puts them all through and it's two fifty a can. I said, no, no, I got the coupon, I can't find the fucking coupon. So I go to the girl, I said, can't you uh, like just plug my phone number in? She goes, no, no, I'm sorry, she goes, you need the coupon. So I. I'm talking normal at this time because I'm working on the lisp. So I'm talking normal, but then all of a sudden the manager comes over and he says, what seems to be the problem? I says, I says, I have a coupon seven for seven, but I, I can't seem to find the coupon. He says, what's this coupon for? And I said, it's for seven for seven, seven soup for seven dollars, and I want the Sox Lots and Southwestern style soup. And then he, they're like fucking quiet. They look at me like, whoa, what the fuck was that? And now I realize I'm lisping again. And then the check girl, the girl on the next cash register goes, do you want the low sodium? And, I, and then she like giggles, so I knew they was fucking with me, so I just go, fuck this, I walk out of the store. I get to my fucking car, I open the door, on my feet is the fucking coupon. But I'm too embarrassed to go back, so I, I get home, and I, I make my daughter go, my 19-year-old daughter, I send her out so she gets the seven for seven bucks. So I end up working out okay. But now, on that same night, on the same fucking night, I'm home, and my phone, I get the message, it's my agent, he says, we got a great, great uh, role came up in this gangster movie, the fucking major, major fucking star, and he says, it's one scene, but then you go in, and you, you're collecting money from him on the beach, or the sack and the beach, and it's like just you and the star of this movie, is a major fucking Academy Award winning star, so I go, oh shit, great, and he goes, and you worked with everybody before, they're all excited, and he goes, I'm sending you the scene right now. So he sends me the scene, and I get the scene, and I look at it. All right, now I'm going to read the scene to you word for word. All right. Huge guy, that would be me. Bust in shack. Fills the entire door case. Vinny sits at the table, looks up. Huge guy speaks. These are the lines, all right? First of all, I don't know where Massachusetts is. I just drove six hours from the city. You stole $16,000 from my boss. I suggest you go to the safe and hand me $16,000 in cash or you'll be swimming with the fishes. And I don't even know if Massachusetts has a seashore and that pisses the shit out of me. Me too, me too. Who the fuck? So, needless to say, I call my agent up. 
I said, hey, I did you see the scene? He goes, yeah, yeah. He goes, I just called them. I goes, I had to tell them about the lightning strike and the slight lift. He goes, up till now, we've been calling it a slight lift. <laughs> and he says, uh, yeah, yeah, they love you. And they said something else. And they go, uh, my agent, he literally said to me, he goes, too many S's. So I didn't get that fucking job. And I guess now, if I, you know, I'm still, I'm still a character actor, I'll still be the bad guy, but it's going to be in a fucking funny movie. There's no way I'll be collecting fucking money with all these S's in some fucking serious movie and scaring the shit out of someone. So, anyways. Don't hurt me, Mommy! I was just fixing my dipper this time! <laughs> That's what I always said growing up. <laughs> me too, me too. So, anyways. My daughter now still fucks with me. She goes, uh, she's constantly going, Hey, Dad, charge my phone. It's like, fuck the, come on. That's not funny. I could have died. Charge my phone. So, but now here's a fact I guess you didn't know. I had no idea either. A bigger percentage of people have been struck by lightning twice than once. That's fucking amazing. A bigger percent. That means more people have been struck twice by once. It also means that once you get struck, it's going to fucking happen again. So my, my only fucking thing is, right now, if it even starts to drizzle, I not only run inside, I go in the fucking basement. All right. Thank you. Remember, it's not who you think you are. It's who you are you are. If I don't see you in the future, I'll see you in the past year. I don't think that list, you can't even tell the list if I'm barking.